Uh, guys, it seemed to be a very distinct game plan to to get the the tight ends involved. I guess what what did you see that led to led to that? Honestly, the game plan wasn't really <laughs> like targeting them or anything. It just happened naturally, and you know that's the most beautiful thing that it could uh, play out. So uh, you know the boys were open and they finished the play. So great job by then. National tight ends day tomorrow too. So maybe that was it. Yeah, I think. Uh, just goes to show the amount of talent that we have on this team. Like, it doesn't matter who it is. Each week, somebody's going to step up, and it just happened to be us this week. More questions for both players, obviously, stuff came out this week. Were you guys seemingly not distracted by the sign stealing stuff? And also, going back to last year with the tunnel, was that a motivation at all? I just think, you know, no matter, put all that stuff aside, we're taking our 11 against anybody else's 11 in the country and offense, defense, and special teams. So I think that's just our mindset about everything. Yeah, we didn't really, like, you know, have any rah-rah speeches about anything like that. We were just keeping the main thing, the main thing, that's winning football games, winning each snap that comes our way, and, you know, the rest plays out for itself. For both, Whoa. For, for both of you, we keep asking you after every game, is this your most complete game, a shutout? I mean, does that make this the most complete game? Uh, I don't believe so. I feel like we still haven't reached it yet. You know, we're, we're just a team that's going to continue to climb, and we're never going to feel like we're settled or complacent or anything like that. So we're not even close to our peak yet. There's so many ways we could grow so much more um, stuff on film that I'm sure we're going to see and learn from. So. Yeah, definitely not our complete game yet, but it's coming. Just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, yeah. Okay. More questions for these gentlemen? Second row towards the left. We're the microphone to you. AJ, uh, did you have a feeling like this kind of game was coming? I guess, can you talk about the patience you had while maybe other players were having their big games? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, you know, just knowing that I have a great quarterback to get me the ball, all the O linemen, C Love, I think we just feed off each other, and it doesn't matter, you know what happens the week before and if you know you didn't have a great game yourself or on paper you might not have had a great game I just think you know each week we just come in with that mindset of you know this week you know could be the one and I think the biggest thing is that we just want to win at the end of the day so JJ since the last time you were in East Lansing that the outcome of that game was very different for this team very different for you how do you feel that you've grown in these past two years? And, and was the outcome of that game on your mind at all heading into today? Um, yeah, I'll answer your second question first. Uh, that outcome of that game was definitely on my mind, you know, when I was packing the away bag to head up Friday night. I was looking at this shirt right here, and I haven't worn it since we lost that game. It was actually the first time I only wore it. So, you know, I just looked at it, and I was like, you know, I'm not going to live in fear. I'm going to wear this with pride and go out there with my boys. And, you know, the past is the past. And, there's so much growth in between those two points in time, but uh, yeah, we're just keeping the main thing, the main thing, going out there, winning each snap. Was it important for you to kind of take that back, take this stadium back, take this rivalry back for yourself? Um, it wasn't of an importance, but it felt damn good. A question for either of you guys. While the first string was out, you went seven for eight on third down conversions. What went into that success there on those third downs? Uh, I think it just starts with preparation throughout the week. Uh, our coaches do a good job of preparing us and making sure we're uh, locked in all week. And, you know, it shows on game day, and yeah, that's 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 what that's what we've seen. We'll go back to the left side, seated, Brian. For for any of you guys, obviously Jaden McBurrows was part of the the tunnel incident last year. What was your reaction to seeing him get an interception late in the game there? I mean, personally, I wasn't here last year. So, but I think just J-Mac works extremely hard. Um, he's a guy that we, you know, love and care about a whole lot. And we knew that this game meant a whole bunch to him. So we're, I think we're just all extremely happy that he made that play. Yeah, filled with joy. Filled with joy when it happened. 
for all three of you, you guys scored in your first three drives. You're able to get a stop there early in fourth and one. When did you guys realize this game was, was over? something we definitely believe in but yeah I mean yeah till the clock hits zero probably that's 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 what we knew JJ how is this team able to stay focused when stuff is happening outside the walls because it seems like that's a, a talent of this team um you know we do a tremendous job of keeping the main thing the main thing and staying in the present moment controlling what we can control and just striving to get better you know we know this is a special group and we just strive every single day to see how good we can really get and all that outside distraction, all the allegations against Coach Harbaugh, that doesn't do anything to us because we're just, we're just out there trying to play ball, have fun with our boys, and you know we just keep it very simple and uh, you know keep the main thing the main thing. I have two, um, Colson. You and JJ have connected. I think each of the last three games you've scored uh, two tonight. Is what has changed with the dynamic between the two of you? I don't think anything's changed. It's just the. You know, the time, the time came today, and it was just uh, happened to be in open in his reads, and he just put the ball where it needed to be. And yeah, I mean, it happens all the time in practice, so it, it, you know, it's bound to happen sometimes. And also going back to the distractions, how did Coach Harbaugh address this with with the team? Uh, he just let us know what his stance was on it. I think it was uh, when it just came out, whether that was Wednesday or Thursday this week, and. He was just totally up front with us, and you know, he just told us the same thing. It's not going to distract us. Don't let it be a distraction. Don't be a distraction, and uh, you know, just keep focused on playing ball. Just a couple more these guys. Front right, Larry. JJ, did you hear uh, your crowd uh, chanting um, "Let's Go Blue" well before the um, crowd um, cleared out, and at the end of the game, did not put it on a knee? Um, you know, what did that? message that send what did you think of that um just the crowd you know fans U of M just fan base in general is one of the best fan bases in the country I think the best and you know that's one of the most beautiful things when you're at a away game and you hear the crowd cheering go blue and all that there's nothing there's nothing better than you know seeing that hearing that and uh you know just like we said the clock doesn't or the game's not over until the clock hits zero. So the last possession, we're trying to score because, you know, there's still time left on the clock. For both Colston and AJ, you guys combined for over 170 yards together. Was this the projection going into the season that you'd both be able to feed off one another and kind of eat at the same time? Yeah, I think for sure, you know, uh, me and C-Love, February, March, April, it would be 8.30 at night, and we might go up there and get jugs. And I think that's just like, our, our connection is, is we just feed off each other and we both want to see each other succeed, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Just a great addition to the, AJ's a great addition to the team and, you know, ever since he's got here, we've, we've been like this and, like you said, just feed off of each other, both learn from each other and, yeah, it's great. Yeah, considering the nature, obviously, of the allegations, I mean, was it important to leave no doubt with this kind of result? I mean, yeah, we're not even focused on the allegations at all. We're just, like you know, JJ said, we're just coming out here to try to win. Yep, we got the job done. And uh, Coach Harbaugh did say, leave no doubt at the halftime, but it was because in 2021, we were up 18 and they came back. So it had nothing to do with the allegations at all. This is for uh, AJ. Coming to this program, the experience you've had so far, is it what you expected? Um, yeah. For sure, it's been everything I've expected and more. You know, I think it starts with the coaching staff, Coach Harbaugh, Coach Moore, Coach News. Uh, the list goes on and on. They they get us super prepared every week, and then the players too. You know, the way that they've welcomed me um, from the time I got here, it's been nothing but love and support. And I think that's just extremely special. And it starts with like leaders like JJ and C Love and all the other leaders that we have on this team that they've created this culture. And um, I'm extremely blessed to be here, and I can't wait for you know the rest of the season with these boys. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a great weekend.